What is up everybody? How's it going? Hopefully you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my recent video game pickup and um, talking a little bit about the um, kind of like why video games aren't fun for some people. I know I talked about this in the past, but I wanted to delve a little bit more into it just because it's been on my mind. So the first game... Um, well, let's first start with, I got actually a manual, um, a guide, and that was X-Men Origins Wolverine. I do have this for the PS3, but I thought this was a good pickup. Um, it's in pretty good condition, and I think I got it for like 10 bucks. so it'll help me out when I have trouble in X-Men Origins Wolverine on the PS3. Now, this game I got, and I actually wanted to get a fair price. I think it was valued around $45, 30 to $45 um, on price charting. I got it for $40. Um, and there was people selling it for like $55, $60. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. No, I'm not buying that. Uh, so I got God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Um, and I specifically wanted the, um, let's see if I can get in a picture there. The Demos insert. Um, this insert. No, I didn't really care. But it's a little used, but I don't really care. I wanted this one because I just thought it was cool. And it just completes the whole um, God of War, Ghost of Sparta game. Because it's if you ever played Ghost of Sparta, you know that Demos is like the main character. But this is overall, like I think my second favorite PSP game of all time. I'm not even joking. Like, Motherstorm, Arc Edge is my first. It will never... Um, nothing can never beat that, but this one definitely takes the second place because it was so good. Like you get to have these fiery blades and go into a volcano, meet um, oh, I forgot what the guy's name, but he could turn anything to gold. Um, you get to go through all the epic battles he was as a, uh, as a Spartan. You get to go back to Sparta itself. I know I'm spoiling too much of the game, but I don't care. It's it's such a great game and it's in good condition too. So. Great deal for like thirty four forty five dollars or thirty to forty thirty five to forty dollars right there. Um and this has to be my favorite game and my favorite pickup. Uh, just because this finally completes my collection. I finally think that this completes my collection to its fullest. And um there are games that I would like but I don't necessarily need like um I would love to get Epic Mickey 2 on the PlayStation 3 along with like Little Big Planet Karting or Mod Nation Racers on the PSP. Um, there's tiny games like that, but I don't necessarily need it. Um, this one, I felt like this was the final game I needed just because I have the manual and it just, it's my PlayStation, PlayStation avatar actually is this guy, um, is Kratos and yeah, um, so I feel like this is like an essential game, especially to preserve this game into the future. I mean, there's nothing like it. Um, so I'm really glad I picked this up. And I waited a while to get this. I think a guy was selling it for 35 I'm like, I wasn't even going to haggle it down. I was just like, yeah, 35 is a good deal. Let's buy it. So those are the two pickups I picked up recently. Um, and then I also want to talk about... Um, Sorry, I'm blinking on what I want to talk about. Is the idea of kind of why video games aren't fun for people anymore. And I've been telling for people for a while. It's like, oh yeah, companies have been all about greed and wanting money. Um, and the thing is, that's kind of true. A lot of AAA games do that. Call of Duty um, is a big one. They really wanted pe um, people's money. Diablo. A lot of the big AAA games. But that's why I like... I never played games of these games as a kid, like these classic games on the PS PlayStation Three or um, uh, the 3DS, and so I like to go back and experience them. And that's why I'm buying them now. Is that because I didn't play them as a kid? I like I have the opportunity now to buy these games and experience them in the future. And that's one of the gifts I got is that I never got to play these games as a kid. And now I don't have anything else to play because, but the thing is, that I, I that's the greatest gift of all. It's just to go back and experience those for the first time. Um, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, um, Jack and Daxter, um, uh, God of War. Speaking of, I finished all the God of War games. I finished Ascension, so now I played every God of War. 
Um, there is God of War 1, 2, 3, Ascension, God of War, um, Chains of Olympus, and Ghosts of Sparta, and finally God of War 4. I um, believe those are all of them. If I missed any, please let me know because I definitely need to play them. And I'm not counting the Game Boy. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, that was that monstrosity. But anyways, I just wanted to add that little fact to say that yeah, it's probably boring for other people, but for me, it, it's not that boring because I play the classic games on the PS3, and so um, because I play those old games, they're like new games for me, brand new games for a cheap price. Well, relatively, like for 30, 30 to forty if you want to pick the collections, but. Um, otherwise, it's like 10 bucks or lower um, for all the games I got. Otherwise, um, that's my little rant about what's been going on. Hopefully, you guys are going well. Um, staying safe. Tell me about your gaming adventures you guys been having. And just how you guys been doing overall, especially in these tough times. So, I will see you guys later, and hopefully you guys are doing well. Bye, and peace out.